What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Chihuahua you back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that like button, come in, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you'll be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, we're gonna turn ASAP Rocky into a Simpson character. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the thing. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and set our pressure on our brush. And you gotta be using a digital art tablet. I gotta, I say that every video, people still be asking, man, can you use your mouse and get the pressure option? No, bro. You gotta get you a digital art tablet, bro. To get the pressure option. So I'm gonna set my pressure on my pen. Hit OK. And now I should have my pressure brush. Now we're gonna start out with the sketch. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get a bright color, draw the opacity down. Every time I'm doing a Simpson character, I sketch out the Simpson feature first before I start adding some features that'll make it look like the person I'm trying to turn that Simpson character into. Okay, now that we got the Simpson carrot, we got the Simpson features out the way. Now it's time to start adding the ASAP Rocky feature. So what? Uh, I'm gonna start with this side burn. Now we got our sketch laid out. Now what we about to do, we about to jump right into the line work. So what I like to do is highlight everything, bring my opacity down just a little more, lock that layer, create a new layer right above it, select the color black on my brush, zoom in, now it's time to make some clean lines. So let's go ahead and Start cleaning everything up. And it's over. Another thing too, you see how if you want to get your lines super sharp and you need some help making clean lines, just double click your brush and bring your smoothness all the way up. And now it's about to help me correct my lines a little better. I want these lines to be real clean, so I just brought that all the way up. I'm gonna overshoot this line right here. And then, let's see, overshoot it. I'm gonna overshoot this. I'm gonna bring it out so far. So, right there. This way, there we go. We're gonna overshoot this one. Now, what I'm about to do, I'm about to clean those lines up. I'm gonna highlight them, then I'm gonna go to my Pathfinder. Make sure you got it pulled out. Go to Object, Expand Appearance, and then click Divide on your Pathfinder. And now we can hit this white arrow tool. And we can delete all the lines we overshot. Every line that cross each other, it, it'll, it'll, um, make it his own line so you can just come through and we can just delete it delete that delete this delete that this one and this one and go 
come here and do the same for this. So the reason I overshoot my line so that it'll make these sharp points every time I turn. So you see how sharp and consistent it made the teeth. So that's a nice little method to use. Let's go back to our brush. And I'm gonna stay overshooting. Shooting these lines right here. Let's finish doing a outline of the head. Okay. I'll come back and do that. The only downside to moving your smoothness all the way up, sometimes it'll be too much. So you gotta know when to use it and when it when to turn it down some. So I'ma just use it for finish out the mouth. Click and delete. Double click my brush, move my smoothness back to the center so I can have more control over my lines. And now, we can do our drip.
now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna come over here go to my pencil tool make sure your settings on your pencil tool look just like mine's move this color black to the top and now we're gonna do the fillings just by tracing these lines and clean go back to my pencil tool make sure my color black is at the top and the bottom one is locked so we can add the 3d to the drip now it's time to color all this so what we finna do we finna highlight everything go to object expand appearance and then you want to go back to object and hit expand and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder hold shift and drag the corner so we can fit it all on the on the page Make it a little bigger. Just gonna make sure everything is on the page. Now we're gonna make a copy of our line work. Lock the top copy. Come to the second one. We'll go to our rectangle tool. Find a nice skin tone to start out with. a nice skin tone drag that color over the entire picture right click the color go to arrange send to back you'll know if you did that step right if you look over here at your layers and you see a line where it's sitting on top of the color after you do that you want to highlight everything go to merge on your pathfinder so it can become one with the color right click the color isolate select group and now we can delete this background color and we can switch colors around so let's delete this let's delete that let's go ahead and make his hair hold shift to select more than one area at a time we're just gonna select all this hair. Okay, we're gonna lock this color right here, and we're gonna move the color we just made to the top. Dropper tool, sample that. Go back to my selection tool. My dropper tool, down. Okay. Now that we finished with the hair, what we finna do? We finna come right here to the eyes, hold shift, select the teeth, everything that's gonna be white. Go ahead and make that white. Make his tongue. Okay, cool. Now, what we're going to do.
do. We're gonna tweak these colors just a tad bit. So I'm gonna select everything. Go to file. I mean, go to edit, edit color. Recolor with preset. Color harmony. Make sure I got this on all. Let's make the hair just a little darker. Copy the color layer, drag it to this blank sheet of paper, and we're gonna lock the bottom, turn the eye off, go to the center color layer, go to our white selection tool, and we're gonna delete the skin tone. So let's come up. Make sure you delete all the skin tone. After you do that, you can bring that bottom layer back. Create us a new layer in between those two. And now we finna do the shadows. And it ain't gonna be so much. Go to your pencil tool. And that's what I do all my shading with. I'm gonna create a new layer right under my line work layer so we can do some shadows inside the eyes and the mouth and that'll be it for this picture. And there you have it, you guys, how to turn ASAP Rocky into a Simpson character. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.